John, welcome to the HOH house party, bro. Uh, we're gonna be doing some game I like to call IG Explain. I pulled up a couple of pics off your IG and I'm gonna have you explain it to us because we all know pictures are worth a thousand words. First and foremost, bro, I seen you with the legend, Hank Aaron, the ATL legend as you call them. So I wanted to know what this experience was like for you, seeing that you now are the younger representation of Atlanta. Yeah, it was amazing. Uh, so he had the opportunity to come to the practice facility one day while we were, you know, practicing and whatnot. Uh, he came in after, you know, very older gentleman. So he gave, you know, as many words as he could, good words as he could, but it was just, you know, amazing to be in his presence uh, and to hear some of the, the real stories about him. Obviously I knew of him, but I didn't do my research as I did after I met the, the man and um, started living in the city of Atlanta. And, you know, obviously he started meeting a little bit um, different things to me. So uh, it was just an amazing experience. And obviously a legend, like I said before, so um, salute to him. The next picture I got is you, and another GOAT, another legend, Jay-Z, man. This, oh. this was one of my favorites. You definitely was on here trying to remain cool. I could see you you holding your composure right. a bit. What's the backstory behind this and uh, who, who you listening to? I was just at, I was in the Sable Center. We were in LA. This, this was pre-draft. So right as I left Wake Forest, um, you know, started to train, train to go to the NBA. And uh, I think that was one of my first times going to Sable Center and, you know, agency stuff, agents of being agents. And I was able to get on the court get courtside and uh, you know my the, the agents and the people who I was with happened to know Jay-Z and I was like oh you know what I'm saying I was like oh you know fanboying a little bit and he was yeah. like you want to go take a picture and I was like yeah so he just he ran me up to him real quick I was like oh yeah so he took the picture obviously you could see a little bit it was in a little bit of a rush but he was yeah. cool enough to stop it stop and pause so um that was dope, man. Obviously, so I put the, I forgot which quote from which song I put in the caption. I thought I was cool that day. Obviously, I met Ho. Um, yeah. So um, it was, it was, it was dope, man. The next picture, man, is probably my favorite. I, nothing wrong with, with Ho some love, and I see that you, you just recently welcomed a baby boy. Um, oh yes, so sir. I wanted to know that experience for you. No, amazing. Uh, my baby boy Jay, welcome, welcome him to him to the world. About uh, going on two months officially, I think. It was yesterday or two days ago, a couple days ago. So he's, he's doing very well. Uh, big, healthy dude, long legs, just like his daddy. Um, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Hopefully he got bounced just like his daddy too. Um, yeah. so he's doing good, man, but it's, it's an amazing experience. Obviously he's still real young, still, uh, you know, in this infant infant stage. So I'm waiting for, you know, till he gets a little older, starts to interact so I can start interacting with him a little bit more, but it's been amazing. Next one we got y'all, we got you wearing the, the new Atlanta Hawks uniforms. Um, I think personally y'all in history have like top five uniforms ever. Uh, yeah. Any era, y'all always fire. Yeah. Uh, we see the Jordan logo on there, but my main thing was a caption. You, you use hashtag true to Atlanta. And I just wanted to know what is being true to Atlanta for John Collins? Man, true to Atlanta means, you know, you, you're just down for anything Atlanta. You obviously understand the power uh, that Atlanta has within, you know, the, the black community. Uh, and I just feel like as a, you know, a national powerhouse and it's, in its own right. And I feel like, you know, people who, who live here and are from here uh, understand that statement a little bit more, um, just being true to, to the roots, the, the, the homegrown roots that are Atlanta and just, and just supporting um, the Atlanta culture. Last but not least, as you just mentioned, the black community, I got a picture of you and some of your teammates out there protesting and everything. What was this experience like, you know, being with the people in a city, like you just mentioned, Atlanta, but then also, you know, representing and playing for a league like the NBA, who's giving y'all the, the most support, I think, out of any league we've seen. You know, sure. walk us through that experience and going through all of this. Yeah, so first and foremost, you know, I like to, you know, thank Coach Pierce, who's kind of inspired all of us as players. Um, our head coach, the, the Hawks head coach, or anyone who, who isn't aware, but um, Coach has just given us, you know, a, a good platform or a good starting place because he's used his voice a lot um, to speak out and, and use his platform and the platform that the NBA has given all of us. And I felt like it was only right for me to, you know, try to do my best to be authentic, to be myself. Um, and to do something that was real and that meant something to me. So for me, when I went out there to walk with the people of Atlanta, um, it was it was for the NAACP, a march, um, some, you know, a group and an organization that I, I feel like my, my values support. Um, and, you know, obviously I had my teammates with me as well. So it was an amazing experience for, for us just to go out and, uh, and do something like that. It was my first time being out. Um, in um, in the world or in you know in a, in a mass group of people since the, the COVID-19 uh, dilemma yeah. has started so 
um, it was a very just powering and humbling experience for myself. And like I said, I wanted to do something that was authentic to me. Um, so I waited until I found like, you know, a perfect or the right opportunity for myself to, to express that. So um, like I said, very powerful, very humbling. And I hope I'm using my platform to, to express my values and hopefully people see that and are inspired to you know, speak for themselves as well. And that's a wrap, John. I appreciate you giving us your time. P, appreciate you. Appreciate all the love as well, man. Uh, like you said, we'll be seeing each other soon, man. Much love, bro. Take care. You told me that I Sir. wouldn't get it, then I wouldn't get it. I ain't had shit but in my pockets, nigga. I was having withdrawals, now I'm at the bank, making deposits.